Integration by parts is a technique for computing the integrals of products. Now, integration by parts doesn't always work, but it works in a number of very significant applications. So it is a very important technique to master. I'll start by writing the integration by parts formula down, although it may initially seem a little cryptic. Out of some piece of mathematical tradition, when we state the integration by parts formula, we usually call our functions u and v instead of f and g. And we usually don't use function notation. That is, I haven't written u of x or v of x. I've just written the letters U and V. And the integration by parts formula is as follows. The integral of U dV equals U V minus the integral of v du. Now, what on earth does this mean? You use integration by parts on products. You've got the integral of something times something, and you break this product apart. One of the factors in the product you call u, and the other factor in the product you will call dv. You take the derivative of u to get to du. You take the integral of dv to get to v, and then you put these four pieces together to form a new integral. This is something where I think you really need to see an example for it to be clear. So let's pick one of the classic examples. This integral shows up a lot in applications. It's one of the reasons that integration by parts is so important. The integral of x times the sine of x dx. And we'll break this integral into two pieces. We've got the x times the sine of x. And we'll call one of those pieces u. And the other piece we call dv. And we integrate 
U to get to D U. Sorry, we differentiate to U to get D U. We integrate D V to get to V. When we're doing integration by parts, we don't bother with a constant of integration here. And now we put these pieces together according to this formula. U times V, negative X times the cosine of X minus the integral of V du. We don't bother writing the one du equals dx. So this is x negative x times the cosine of x plus the integral of the cosine of x. This negative sign can be poured outside and then it cancels with this negative sign. And the antiderivative of the cosine, well, that we know. It's the sine of x. And there's our integral. We'll need to do some more examples and put in some effort to master this. But this is the idea behind integration by parts. Before I leave you and end this video, let's ask the following question. When should we expect this to work. I've said before, and now I'll say it again, integration by parts won't always let you integrate the product. It only works in certain situations. So we've got a product something times something. What do we need for this process to work out for us? Well, this U in the initial formula becomes a du in the integral over here. So this x in this integral became a one in the second integral. So it would be really nice if one of these terms become as a simpler when you differentiate. 
I mean, consider what integration by parts does. It starts with the integral of a product and it ends with the integral of a product. So what we really need is for this product to be simpler than this product. And since u is being replaced by du, if this becomes a simple when we take the derivative, if du is simpler than u, that's surely a good thing. What else do we need? Well, when we do integration by parts, we have to do integration. V is the integral of dV. That is to say, we have to integrate this second something. So at an absolute minimum, if this is going to work out for us, we must be able to integrate the second something. And ideally, the integral should not be too complex. Complicated. Because again, remember what integration by parts does. It replaces the integral of a product with the integral of a product. And this dv gets replaced with its antiderivative. So if V is much more complicated than DV was, well, that's going to make this integral worse than the one we started out with. And we won't be able to compute this integral. So obviously this is stated a little informally, but this is what we want if integration by parts is going to work. 